whatever your view is on life, who you are, where you are from, and why you are here, one thing is certain. Your physical body and non-physical mind or consciousness is on a journey of discovery. We must never stop investigating, never stop experimenting, never stop questioning. No fear, only love, no anger, only compassion and forgiveness. Cause this is just the way it's meant to be. This is just the way it's meant to be. This is just the way it's meant to be. This is just the way it's meant to be. We have spent trillions of dollars of taxpayer monies over the years on these technologies. We have not gotten a benefit from them. These are these are controlled by a group of sociopaths that want to use them for endless war and destruction and, frankly, evil purposes, rather than the same technologies could be used to give us a paradise on this planet. So people need to understand that this is not like a superficial, gee, you know, are there aliens out in space issue? This is very much about the human future, and I, and I would encourage people to uh, help us get the word out on this. By the way, if you go to my website, SiriusDisclosure.com, S-I-R-I-U-S Disclosure.com, you can download this Cosmic Hoax film for free and put it on your YouTube channel. Any site that's free, you can put it out there. We've released it so it's a creative commons, as they call it, so everyone can share this with everyone else. Well, see, those technologies that everyone's talking about that we're spending trillions of dollars on uh, are what I call environmental theater. It's just theatrics. It, <coughs> the real technologies we've had for a hundred years, literally since Tesla and maybe before. And they've gone through many refined generations. I have a document from the American Federation of Scientists from 2010, where they state that there have been 5,160 uh, patents seized by the patent office under national security orders that have to do with these creative breakthroughs in energy and technology. So your viewers should think about this. Imagine having a box, something like your heat pump, but probably smaller, that would run your house, your business, your factory, no energy costs, no pollution, pull in energy out of what's called the zero point or the fabric of space time around you. Dr. Stephen Greer is one of the world's foremost authorities on the subject of UFOs, extraterrestrial intelligence and technologies, and initiating peaceful contact with interstellar civilizations. For over 30 years, Dr. Greer has uh, provided briefings for senior government officials across the globe, conducting numerous media interviews, and has delivered thousands of interviews and lectures. He has also written five books and produced a feature film documentaries that have been seen hundreds of millions of times. Dr. Greer's relentless efforts towards the disclosure of classified UFO ET information has inspired, I would say, billions, not millions, of supporters around the world. His films are Unacknowledged and Close Encounters of the Fifth Kind. Contact has begun with the most recent film being The Cosmic Hoax, an expose. Dr. Stephen Greer. Uh, again, is at Dr. Stephen Greer on Instagram and www.seriousdisclosure.com with an S. Thanks for joining us. Obviously, you said you would come back on once they'd released this report. You predicted it would just be a bunch of Earth technology, human technology, uh, corporate technology. And so let's 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 start there and then get into the new film, Cosmic Hoax, and expand out. But but first off, thanks for coming on. Thank you. I'm really glad to be with you again. Before we get into the film and all the big uh, DNI report and all of it, first, I know you like to stay on subject, but this whole global government, Bill Gates, the inoculation, uh, the fact that they admit that people that have been injected are the ones that are mainly getting sick. Uh, from your sources and your connections, what is going on here? Well, the main thing is that, <clears throat> the, excuse me, the abuse of power that's been associated with this pandemic uh, aside from the fact that it almost certainly was a uh, bio-warfare weapon created in the Wuhan lab, uh, is the uh, way they're beta testing to see how well they can control the populace. Because what, what they really have done is to issue all kinds of confusing edicts from central state uh, actors and then see if the populace will genuflect and bow down and kowtow to these authorities. 
And I think that anyone who cares about freedom has to look at these uh, excesses of, of abuse of power <clears throat> that have been happening. And that's something that I, I think it was by design. I think this was done to see, let's see if we can beta test through fear, a constant drumbeat of fear, uh, I'm an emergency doctor, and I, I can see how fear can affect people in so many ways. Uh, and and it, it's been very, very effective. And so you have people doing completely irrational things. <clears throat> excuse me. And those things are very dangerous, not only to people's individual health, uh, like children, a uh, very young age, uh, not being in school, having to wear masks uh, when they have very low risk of either spreading it or getting the virus. Uh, and yet people are complying and they're measuring, in my opinion, they're seeing how effective that is. How much can they get away with? Well, I think you're absolutely right. Uh, Klaus Schwab has said, get ready for global power outages. That'll make uh, the COVID look like a, a tea party or look like a walk in the park. They even admit they're doing this for a quote, great reset. Uh, what do you think of Klaus Schwab and this whole Great Reset? What are the planetary controllers trying to do? Because they're acting like somebody's got a gun to their head. Well, you know, this is a long-term defense plan that was concocted at the end of World War II over 70 years ago. And uh, we have people on my team uh, who have seen this long-term strategic defense plan. Even uh, General Wesley Clark admitted to seeing a document where all these endless wars in the Mideast were mapped out way in advance. Uh, Werner von Braun, who invented the rocket for Adolf Hitler, stated that uh, she had seen a plan when she was at Fairchild Industries in a meeting with the uh, people from the CIA that mapped out all these endless wars that we've been doing since the, from the 70s till now. And these are the sort of things that you have, uh, your previous guest used the word sociopath, I mean, really high functioning sociopaths who want endless war and who want to control the global population through fear. Now, the big card that they could play at any time, and they've been building up to this for over 60 years, is this sort of hoaxed alien invasion uh, nonsense, which uh, that's the drumbeat being pushed out of this director of national and, and intelligence. And you've been saying support. that for 30 years. That's why you've got so much credibility. When I first heard you 25 years ago, I thought, well, this guy sounds credible. A lot of it makes sense. But but then it all came true the way the Hollywood, the media, the rollout, obviously these machines they're showing are human. I have no folks that have worked on them. I mean, it's not even that classified anymore, as you said, decades ago. So, so why do they want us to believe there's this outside violent alien threat? You're saying that's going to be the ultimate false flag? It's the ultimate false flag, and they actually started it. If you look at the Cosmic Host, you'll see that we refer to a CIA document from 1985 where the CIA was going down to Brazil and Argentina admits this openly, uh, and were engaging in fake alien abductions for their, quote, psychological warfare value. Now, th this is not a contested document. Moreover, we have an Air Force intelligence officer who's come forward who has stated point blank that they have engaged in abducting U.S. citizens made to look like alien encounters for their psychological warfare value. I mean, th this is a case closed here, but the general public mostly don't know this. And I, this is why we did this emergency documentary, and I've released it for free. I think it's on your site. We're putting it out all over the world. Is because the people, we can need to be cosmic Paul Revere's here and say, wait, there's this whole hoax and fake alien threat thing coming, and people are being sucked into it, just like they've been sucked into the fear of so many other uh, things that we've done that, that have been disastrous, like the aftermath of 9-11, where we stumbled into Afghanistan for 20 years and Iraq under false pretenses and false intelligence, uh, and, and ended up spending trillions of dollars and killing millions of lives uh, to no avail. Well, I should have said up front that your new amazing film, super high production quality, obviously millions of dollars to make, The Cosmic Hoax and Expose, I wish I could make a film this good, is free. And I should have uh, yes. pointed that out. It is at band.video, The Cosmic Hoax and Expose. It's many other places. And I should have had you back on when you launched it a few weeks ago. But here it is. Everybody should share it today, The Cosmic Hoax and Expose. Uh, tell us about the film. Well, the, the genesis of the film was when I got a heads up that the uh, director of national intelligence and their minions, 
uh, people like Lou Elizondo and uh, Chris Mellon and Nick Pope and others were consistently saying three provable, damnable lies. And let me go through these very quickly. The, the documentary is more extensive, but uh, number one, they say that we don't know what these objects are. We do. Some of them, a very few of them, are actually extraterrestrial vehicles. Most of the ones that are being shown in the media, if you look at all those, those are all ours. Those are from Lockheed Skunk Works. They're from my uncle's company, Northrop Grumman. They're um, contractors that are making so-called anti-gravity free energy devices. And that's a bigger secret than the ET issue for a reason I'll get into in a moment. And then the second big lie is uh, we don't have anything that can move this way. And they show these images. This one you're showing right now obviously has nav lights on it. Uh, it's a triangle, anti-grav, silent, uh, made by Northrop Grumman. And we have known this for decades. I'll give your viewers uh, a date, October 1954. That is when we mastered gravity control and began making man-made things that look like UFOs. This particular video you're showing now is a Lockheed Martin from the Skunk Works up in the high desert of California. So are there actually ET craft? Yes, much more rarely seen. They're using these man-made ones to try to create this other third lie, the national security threat. So in every Stay right single- there, and it's incredibly yeah. obvious when they all swarm our ships and nuclear bases. And to, right. to make our military think they're the enemy. Uh, we'll be sure. right back with our special guest, ladies and gentlemen, and the film that's free right now at band.video. Stay with us. Well, the film came out on July 4th, and we posted it to band.video. They were very gracious to do that, an emergency release, even though they've made films that have been widely seen and been on national television. This is one of their best. They put it out for free as an emergency. The Cosmic Hoax, so important for peace and human future. And I, I really think it's an amazing film. It's free right now at Bandot Video. And I've had it moved back to the top as the featured film. Here's part of the trailer. Uh, again, the main uh, speaker in it, along with many others, is Dr. Stephen Greer. Here it is. This is a story about a hoax that might happen in the future. It's a story about a cosmic hoax that has been unfolding for 60 years. We are quickly approaching a point of no return. I've been warning about this for decades. No, not that. This. Speaking of conspiracy theories that actually have truth at the bottom of them, the Corona Relief Bill that President signed last month contains a provision that hasn't gotten a lot of attention. It directs the Director of National Intelligence, in consultation with the Secretary of Defense and the heads of other agencies, to disclose what they know about UFOs within 180 days. So what are they going to tell us? I provided briefings for four presidents, foreign heads of state, generals, and a sitting CIA director who later betrayed me. I've seen lives destroyed. William Colby has been missing since April 27th. His canoe was found washed up on the banks of the Wicomico River. Friends murdered. Unthinkable evil unleashed on our planet. All to protect this illegal and immoral secrecy. And nothing I've seen scares me more than this unprecedented moment we are living through. We're in the final hour of an agenda that has been playing out for nearly a century. Centralized monopolies of power in government, the defense industry, and the corporate media are all converging on the same narrative that extraterrestrials are real, they're here, and they're a threat. Those are not weather balloons. Those are clearly no. autonomous aircraft of some kind that are, as you put it, swarming U.S. military craft. So are there are two options. Under intelligent I, control. 
These are nicely put, under intelligent and that, control, and they're flying with impunity, Tucker, within our airspace, and uh, they can outmaneuver, outperform um, anything that we seem to have. We need to find out who's operating them and also what the intent is. The truth is we do know who's operating them. Some are indeed extraterrestrial, and they are absolutely not a threat, as you will see. It is, in fact, the secrecy that is an existential threat to life on Earth and beyond, as stated by the first CIA director, Vice Admiral Roscoe Hillenkey. That's just part of the trailer, but see the whole film for free. The Cosmic Hoax, an expose, now featured video at Bandot Video. Okay, this is a shorter segment, two long segments coming up with Dr. Stephen Greer. So continue with, clearly, if, if there's advanced civilizations, and Christ said, you know, I've got many flocks, the point is, they could, and all the ancient societies recorded this, they could destroy us like that. So the whole idea that right. these things are swarming military bases and they're always coming out of the skunk works, they're always coming out of Area 51, I mean, it's insanely obvious that when you look at Hollywood and all of it, and then your sources and your research, that, that they're building this up to unify and control us. Correct. I have 980 whistleblowers now that have been in the agency and aerospace companies that have verified what's in this film. We have, uh, in my early briefings with the Clinton administration and the CIA director, we discovered that most of the senior leadership in the United States are not read into or briefed on this matter. And that, in fact, there is a, a extreme deep state, let's call it, that are known as unacknowledged special access projects that evolved in the 1950s that have been running amok for you know over 65 years. And I think that this is what uh, Eisenhower ran up against. Uh, he knew about this issue. Remember, he, he warned of it. He warned of it. He said a technological yes. elite in control of the military industrial complex. Yes, exactly. And, and he said this is a threat to our democracy and our way of life and our security. So they all knew this. They knew it was happening. And um, I recently had uh, Paul Mellon. He was a supporter of Hitler. And at the end of World War II, uh, his, his grandson's on my team and has told me this, that uh, he, in fact, organized the CIA with Alan Dulles. But they had already brought over from Germany a prototype of an anti-gravity disc. Uh, and that was one of the big uh, finds at the end of World War II uh, from and, Germany. And was that the bell? Was that the bell? No, there was a bell. This was actually a disc-shaped object that was electrogravitic. They had not perfected it. Had the Germans perfected it, they would have won World War II. Keep going, please. So what has happened is that these covert programs have evolved very strongly to the point now they've decided to pull the trigger on uh, officially through the government releasing these sort of reports and the mainstream media a working lockstep with the intelligence community are now uh, putting out this false narrative that there's a threat to the national security. Now, the only part of that that's true is that these covert human illegal projects are a threat to the national security. The interstellar civilizations are certainly not. They are so advanced that if they were a threat, we'd all be gone by now. Believe me. I mean, these technologies are dealing with interstellar transportation capabilities. Now, it doesn't mean that they're not worried about us. I think the whole modern era of sightings happened because we started detonating atomic and thermonuclear weapons, which ended up being very disruptive to uh, dimensions that go beyond what we think of as normal 3D space time. Please continue. So I'm concerned at this point that there's this juggernaut happening in the media and also uh, across the mainstream media, left, right, Tucker Carlson, MSNBC, doesn't matter, where this false narrative is being put out. And in reality, what they're showing to the American public are clandestine military human, mostly American aircraft, but they're saying, well, we don't know what they are, and et cetera, and so sure, on. Sure, just to stir so it up so, so they can even attack us and say it's aliens. I know, Tucker, he's yes. a good guy. He's just showing these amazing machines because you can't doubt it, and they're saying it's not human. Right. I, 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 you would go on Tucker's show, wouldn't you? Oh, I'd absolutely go on his show and clarify this. And we have documents, by the way, to prove this. We have schematics and drawings from the Lockheed Skunk Works. I have the best aerospace researchers in the world on my team. 
and we can prove what we are saying. And so I think this is where the public needs to be properly informed. Now, this secret is bigger than the ET question. The, the fact that there are these technologies that are clandestine, that's the That would totally free the planet. Thing. Exactly. ET aside, advanced technologies, free energy would, fr would total create world peace. Yeah, oh, totally create world peace in poverty, fix the environment without a bunch of, you know, cap and trade, half band-aid solution. And that's why it's and so important. Well, let's talk about this. This is the key. You're absolutely right. We know they are suppressing advanced technologies. That's a fact, not debatable. How do we somehow stop this elite from, from keeping us in a dark age? We'll be right back. Stay with us. Live, raw, and uncensored. It's the Alex Jones Show. As soon as this hour ends, I'm going to take some of your phone calls ahead of Gerald Salente joining us. So we'll get to all the callers that are patiently holding. Dr. Stephen Greer has put out an amazing new film. It's free at man.video or freeworldnews.tv, The Cosmic Hoax. And definitely Hollywood, the, the, the government, the Pentagon is just everywhere saying that, you know, there's these things out of nowhere that are chasing our planes, chasing our ships. They're above our nuclear reactors. And then they fly off and land in the middle of the Nevada desert or New Mexico or Montana or, you know, all these other skunk works. And we know they have these technologies. They've been suppressing them. And then now they say, cut off our old technology, but don't let us have all the new technologies. I'm all for get rid of the older technology, have better new, but oh no, instead we get windmills that don't work. Uh, so, so Dr. Stephen Greer, you were getting into this, the carbon taxes, all of it, very anti-human, post-human world, like a new form of feudalism, instead of just letting us have the old technology and running out of it, they're taking that away while not having us have the new. Who is this shadowy group? What would you call uh, this, this, this transhumanist cabal that's telling us humans are bad and we're a bad species and they're going to phase us out and they're going to merge with machines and make a new species? You know, uh, all these globalists say, oh, I don't believe in God or aliens. I'm going to be a God. That's what Ray Kurzweil says. And, and, and so they're making animal-human hybrids. They're making what I would say is alien while telling us, look out from aliens from distant stars. They're coming to get us. None of it makes sense. We can see the group trying to play God, trying to, like a caterpillar becoming a butterfly, use humanity as, as, as something they believe will transcend. But the whole thing to me just sounds very, very evil. Well, it is. But you have to understand this is an organization that's transnational. It, it goes beyond normal geopolitical boundaries within the United States, which is the crown jewel for financial as well as technology. Uh, but it has the strongest presence, obviously, as well as in Europe and, and other very wealthy countries. But what people have to understand is that it is outside the chain of command. Now, this was my coming of age in the 90s when I had a series of meetings with senior people in government, including the head of the Defense Intelligence Agency, the CIA director, the head of intelligence joint staff, all of whom had been denied access to these projects that we had proof of existing. Now, most people listening are going, what is this man talking about? You're talking about, you know, the most senior uh, flag officers in, in the Pentagon or the director of the CIA being flat out lied to and denied access. And that has happened. Now, there have been some generals and some CIA directors that are in this sort of uh, group that has been called the majority in So it's a classic people. secret society model, which predates intelligence mm -hmm. agencies, of rings within rings. And, and so it, it, it's like Spectre in, in James Bond. There's an international globalist group through corporations and government that basically keep everybody else compartmentalized. Yeah, and the big action isn't even in government. The big action is actually in the corporate, financial, private banking sectors. So, but this was something we unraveled back in the 90s. And, and there's a documentary on Amazon called, uh, and on Tubi called uh, Unacknowledged. Uh, it's been seen by about 700 million people. And it uh, kind of unpacks this. One of the things for people to remember, this director of national intelligence report uh, was assembled by a bunch of people who probably were not clear to have access to the very things they claim they're reporting on. This is a big problem. And I think, you know, for example, uh, you know, it came out in the New York Times that the Pentagon, our tax dollars, spent $22 million that went to this outfit known, known as Bigelow Aerospace. It's now closed in, in Las Vegas. Well, that money was tracked to that entity because the person who was behind it, not Mr. Bigelow, 
with the intelligence guys behind it, wanted to be sure that nothing came out of that report and it was a complete throwing away of $22 million. So there's this dog and pony show going on and now it's going on again. They're going to have hearings in the Congress. I'm sure no legitimate truths will be presented at these hearings. And I think the only way we're going to fix this problem is for we, the people, to stand up and say, look, we're going to educate ourselves on this, get the word out, and we're not going to be fooled again. So that's what we have to do. But yes, the group, the organization is transnational. And uh, the U.S., uh, one of the senior components to it is called the Majority Intelligence Committee, or ironically, MAGIC. And we know that the Jet Propulsion Laboratory and all that got set up by Goddard, and you had all these other weird Aleister Crowleyites that were following it. And I know you just go off the science and the background and the rat line and the documents that we know of Operation Paperclip, but from my research, you can't swing a stick in here from Skull and Bones to Bohemian Grove to any of this without running into the occult. And they believe that they're channeling, I, I, I don't know whether it's extraterrestrial, interdimensional, whatever it is, they call it angels and gods that are giving them these ideas. So I just go off the facts. And 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 so from my, my studying of this shadow group, they believe they're in contact with something off world. Do, have you ever run into that information? And if so, is it interdimensional or is it off world or 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 or, or are these people just psychotic and insane? Well, I think many of them are psychotic and insane, frankly. But I think they're uh, believe that they're in touch with beings from other dimensions that are not extraterrestrial. People confuse this. I mean, an angel, you know, I was at the Vatican meeting with a sen senior theologian to uh, Pope, and he said, look, uh, ex neither angels nor demons need a flying saucer. So uh, what you have here, and he was sort of half joking, but not, uh, the, the truth is you're dealing with people who have these, uh, I call it the syndrome of masters of the universe. So they ascribe to themselves these, uh, this uh, sort of hubris to have dominion over everyone, uh, including our military. And, and, and then I they think reach people, out, they reach out spiritually or interdimensionally to anything that will agree with them and they find what they're looking for, something very bad. Right. And these are people who are really aligned not with peace and the future and the thousands of years of peace that we should be entering into. Uh, these are folks who love uh, destruction. One of the senior people on this team who I know personally is a torture freak and has killed a number of people that I know of who worked in this area and has an organization that is involved with Satan worship. And, you know, he has a wife that publishes a devil's uh, newsletter, and this is a very senior member of this group. I've met him, uh, and he's a, he's a spooky character, I'll tell well, you. Well, the reason I know um, you're telling but, the truth, Dr. Greer, is I've had these very groups try to recruit me since I was a teenager repeatedly, and I guess that's what they do most of the time is try to recruit people, and really, it's just an excuse to act like complete psychotics, like you said. Well, but they have enormous resources. May in 1992, as a young emergency doctor, I started digging into this, I was taken to a meeting with the head of Army Intelligence and personally offered $2 billion if I would uh, join that group and give up what I was trying to do to disclose the facts and the truth about this. Uh, literally $2 billion back in 1992. I, I refused, of course, and they, the, the, this man went to my wife and tried to convince her to convince me. It was the spookiest thing I've ever seen. Well, it was a serious do. offer. Yeah. I mean, this is the level of corruption. I met with a man uh, shortly after that who said, you know, we have given at least $10 million to over 10,000 people to secure their cooperation. It's the same way they've paid billions to, to, to th tens of thousands of influencers to push the vaccine. That's a low level example of this. Not to toot our own horn, like, oh, we're special. A lot of the devils want us. Why do you think they try to recruit you and people like me and, and, and a lot of others? They just see, okay, that's a prominent person. That's a smart person. We want them or what's happening there? Well, there is a project known as uh, Operation Looking Glass and Red Light, where they can sort of gaze into the future with some of these technologies. And they make they often will see someone could be a problem to them in the future. And so those people, they'll try to target and get their cooperation through all kinds of inducements and threats. I mean, I've had threats. I've had inducements, bribes. Uh, well, and why didn't they kill us? Why, like, like you and I, like similar things have happened. Why didn't they kill us? Well, I almost did die. As you know, three people on my team simultaneously got metastatic cancer. 
myself included. I'm the only one that survived. That's right. Let's talk about that with Dr. Stephen yeah. Greer when we come yeah. back. This is very serious. They also can give you these uh, pneumonias that, uh, again, mutate and are harmless oh. after they kill you. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty pretty rough, folks. And, there, and, there's, and, and there's a God in this universe, too, folks. Don't forget that. Powerful information, Dr. Stephen Greer. And then your phone calls, Jill and Mel and Deborah and J.D. and Travis and James and Oshawa. We'll go to every single one of you after our guest leaves us in one segment. Stay with us. All right, Dr. Stephen Greer is our guest final segment, and I've invited him on to do a hour-long commercial-free special report very soon. He's agreed to it. Uh, so look for that to happen, and then we'll also play excerpts of it here on the main radio slash TV show. Uh, but Dr. Greer, you got into targeting things you've gone through, how serious this is. A lot of the facts, they have a lot of advanced medicine that they can use as weapons, uh, everything from race-specific down to individually targeted. Uh, finish up telling us that. You got caught off by the break, and then any other points you'd like to impart to this very hungry audience? Yeah, I think the main... Uh, Thing that people have to understand is that whatever technologies you think exist, uh, we have uh, technologies that are beyond your imagination. You know, one of the people that at our 20th anniversary event in uh, uh, April for the National Press Club of the Disclosure Project launch uh, that we just did in April in uh, Scottsdale, <clears throat> a man who is a, one of the most renowned aerospace researchers, uh, James Goodall, uh, spoke about his last conversation with. Uh, the famed uh, Lockheed Skunk Works CEO, uh, Ben Rich. And uh, Ben Rich was uh, about a week from passing away, and he told this man that out in the desert in California, just the Lockheed Skunk Works, the cube, which is deep underground, there are things out there that are beyond what you can imagine we've done and been portrayed in Star Wars or Star Trek. And he's referring to extremely advanced technologies. We have spent trillions of dollars of taxpayer monies over the years on these technologies. We have not gotten a benefit from them. These are, these are controlled by a group of sociopaths that want to use them for endless war and destruction and frankly evil purposes rather than the same technologies could be used to give us a paradise on this planet. So people need to understand that this is not like a superficial, gee, you know, are there aliens out in space issue? This is very much about the human future. And I, and I would encourage people to uh, help us get the word out on this. By the way, you go to my website, SiriusDisclosure.com, S-I-R-I-U-S Disclosure.com. You can download this Cosmic Hoax film for free and put it on your YouTube channel, any site that's free, you can put it out there. We've released it so it's a creative commons, as they call it, so everyone can share this with everyone else. And it's the way we need to do this because obviously we're being shadow banned. Uh, we're having a lot of a, a blacklisting of what we're doing in the mainstream media. The mainstream media only wants to feature people who are going to repeat those three lies I started at the top of the show talking about, that we don't know what these are, we don't have anything that works this way, and they're a threat to the national security. And they're let's just go back because you mentioned this. I mean, I know mm -hmm. I can know a high production film probably costs millions of dollars. I don't know to make you give it out free because you care. You're calling on human intelligence and, and, and action to, to, to get it out. And people can download it at Bandot Video, share it wherever you get it, get it and share it. But let's go back to this because... I study this. This isn't hypothetical. It's mainline science. The stuff we were told didn't exist 30 years ago did exist. They suppress it as disruptive technology. They use the Secret Service. They use the uh, different federal agencies, uh, the, the, the Securities and Exchange Commission, and all these other groups to shut this down. Just like they came and grabbed all of Tesla's work, the FBI did. That's on record. And so they've been right. suppressing a lot of technology because it disrupts the industries they already have. Now they're so advanced, they feel like they're God uh, and they're keeping us in a new dark age. This is what will fix the environment. Explain that. I mean, you started getting into that about 30 minutes ago, but the break cut you off. This is what we're really talking about, not windmills that don't transfer the power properly, not ridiculous medieval stuff. That's an excuse to keep us from the real technology. And how do you see us getting into that and demanding that transfer to the people? Well, see, those technologies that everyone's talking about that we're spending trillions of dollars on uh, are what I call environmental theater. It's just theatrics. <clears throat> the real technologies we've had for 100 years, literally since Tesla and maybe before. And they've gone through many refined generations. I have a document from the American Federation of Scientists from 2010 
where they state that there have been 5,160 uh, patents seized by the patent office under national security orders that have to do with these creative breakthroughs in energy and technology. So your viewers should think about this. Imagine having a box, something like your heat pump, but probably smaller, that would run your house, your business, your factory, no energy costs, no pollution, pull in energy out of what's called the zero point or the fabric of space time around you. This has been around for a very long time. Meanwhile, we have these plug-in electric cars that are being charged off a coal-fired power grid. Listen, or listen, I have a member of my family at UT when he was yeah. in high school, part of the Plan 2 program, that saw what you're talking about taking power right out of the ground. Correct. Absolutely. Yeah, and these have been around for decades. Uh, in fact, if you look all the way back to the early 1900s, a guy named uh, Stubblefield, uh, you see uh, Nikola Tesla with, with Stubblefield, and they have a what they call an earth battery where the guy is running his farm off of something you just described. That was in 1908. So, you know, we're, we're, you, you have, I call these petrofascists, the people who want everyone dependent on a global macroeconomic system that we no longer need. And I think this is, this is a big problem because the heart of the secrecy on the UFO issue, just think of a UFO, forget that word. It's actually an alternative energy and propulsion device. That's what it is. And it's not using rockets and it's not using jet A fuel. So it's a alternative energy and propulsion device, which is why these covert interests who are the global power elites, this sort of industrial fascist base that runs the planet, they do not want people to know that exists. That's why the man-made UFOs are a bigger secret than the extraterrestrial. And again, you've already quantified that, but explain it again, because that's so important. We already are the advanced civilization, and we and, and it's a red herring to talk about stuff outside of us. Right, and we have all that. Look, I mean, we've spent uh, 70 years reverse engineering extraterrestrial vehicles we acquired in the 40s and 50s, uh, trillions of dollars. But even before then, there were huge breakthroughs in electromagnetic field theory and generation of energy using very high voltage systems. I don't get into the physics of it, but this is wonderful news for my 11 grandchildren, right? But it's very bad news if we can't get it resolved. And that's why it's going to take we the people rising up peacefully. And uh, my next whole uh, big documentary that I want to do is on the, this whole lost century of technology. And what can we do as a public interest group to bring these technologies out? bypass the government, bypass the big transnational corporations. Well, I was about to say, the reason they admit they're panicked, if you really read deeply in the Davos group and the UN, is so many even small universities, but even private groups, are taking uh, basically almost free energy, is now working, and they're worried it's about to be scaled up, and as soon as that gets adopted, it's, it's over for them and their control. Uh, and so I think that's why they're trying Correct. to bring in a worldwide tyranny right now. That, and that's exactly, because they know that the writing's on the wall with that. And actually, as our disclosure project on the UFO and new energy uh, issue ramped up, that's when they stood up that TTSA group and the director of national intelligence report, because they're trying to hijack the narrative back to these. Oh, it's incredibly lies. obvious, Dr. Greer. I mean, you're not tooting your horn there, because uh, I thought you sounded incredible 25 years ago, but it all came true. Like you said, they literally stood up this entire drive to counter what you're doing. Yes, and that's they have to do that because what we've been re, we've been reaching too many hundreds of millions of people. But I think you know it's a battle. You call it info wars. It, it's a battle for the minds and the hearts of, of the human people uh, for a good future versus this disastrous uh, extinction level event future they want us to slide into. Exactly, they're trying to create a controlled artificial extinction event. Uh, because yes. they don't want us having access to the technology they've already got. It's pure greed, it's out of control, and they will fail, thanks to you and many others. Thank you, Dr. Greer. Your film, You Donated to the World, uh, is free uh, at Band.Video, the featured video. I hope people get it and share it. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Appreciate your help. Thank you. Powerful. Thank you for listening to the China Jedi podcast. Set aside your filters of bias. The truth is your never told. Do your own research. May the smile be with you.